the previous segment, I demonstrated multiple rebound strokes on a drum pad. The true mark of your progress is going to be on the snare drum. As I said before, make sure the snares are in a position that are moving straight away from you, north and south, so you can get the maximum sound on your rolls. So today I'm going to go back and demonstrate that same rhythmic pattern I did on the pad in the previous segment. Well, I'll be playing two measures of 4-4 four, four in straight eighth notes. The first measure will be single strokes in eighth notes, and then immediately thereafter I do my multiple rebound strokes, the same exact rhythmic pattern. So again, I'm going to demonstrate that, and then I'm, I'll go back and um, mention the importance of the, the multiple rebound stroke, the do's and don'ts. So here I go on the eighth notes. Three, ten, four, ten, one. So to go back and review, most importantly, when you're doing the multiple rebound strokes, do not feel there's an urge that the urge to accent or strike your, the the, uh, the the multiple rebound strokes very hard. If you notice, um, the the previous notes very light, about mezzo forte. So this may happen. Try to avoid this. So you really need to think about holding back, whereas when you strike the drum, you want to place the stick lightly on the head. Not softly, just a lighter stroke so that it's not harsh. So going back, make sure you pay attention to the duration of the multiple rebound stroke. You want that stroke to last as long as possible so the other stroke will overlap that same stroke. Case in point, don't stop the duration before the next stroke has a chance to come in. So that's the secret. The secret word is overlap the sound.